Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn your favourite Bruce songs on guitar. Every Friday there will be a new lesson complete with a full walkthrough of the song with tab plus a breakdown of the individual parts. So if you're new here please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon for notifications. So today's request is Bruce's classic Murder Incorporated. Thanks again to Martin for the request. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to play the whole song now. And you'll see a tab appear on your screen. It should help as well. Uh, and then I'll see you in a bit to go through all the individual parts. Okay, so see you in a bit. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what I'm going to do is go through all the individual parts. And now um, I've based this uh, tab and lesson on the back of the original recording and also the Live in New York City DVD, which is uh, unbelievable because I can actually see what they're playing and kind of work it out. 
Um, so basically, what's happening here is Bruce is playing the song with Capo on the second fret. Uh, and the way that the, the the way it all merges together and sounds awesome is you've got Stevie in standard tuning without a capo. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go through Bruce's parts first. Again, I'm simplifying them a little bit so you can add a lot of the embellishments that he does. This will be form a really good structure for it. Uh, and if you want to play it with Stevie's parts, you can as well, you know, without a capo. So the idea is in a band situation, you want to combine the both. So, um, okay, so basically Bruce is, it starts off the intro. We've got D5. So I'm playing that with a middle finger. My little finger just makes it a little bit easier in this instance to, to play the other chords. So D5, C major. Now I'm playing an F sus 2. Couldn't really work out whether it's F sus 2 or an F, a broken F. So again, you'll see the tabs in the walkthrough. Don't forget you can kick, uh, click the um, cog icon to slow the video down when you're watching the walkthrough, just to you know, just so you can see the tabs a little bit clearer. So um, I've just played an F sus two. I'm not even sure if he's exactly doing that. It works really nicely. So D five, C five, F sus two, G. So I'm playing G like a third fret with the capo on. Block the A string and then uh, the D, G, B. Aim not to hit that that string. So. Time wise, you've got this. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And guys, again, Stevie's doing that, but without the capo. So he's doing different chord shapes, but it comes out the same. And they lock together really nicely. So that's the intro. Again, strumming wise, you're going to go down, up, down, up. Make sure you get the right time as you go one, two, and three, four. second half of the intro this is the kind of the bit you're doing most throughout the song same chords D5, C5, F sus2, G now again it's really important you get the right strumming for this so um, if you're struggling with the strumming patterns head over to jsmusicschool.co.uk head over to the uh, blog tab and then go on strumming and then scroll down you'll see loads of videos and blogs that will help you with these uh, sort of beginner strumming patterns as have you seen from a lot of the other videos actually this strumming pattern comes up quite a lot so it's really really important you can kind of get these changes and then, and then you're laughing basically so um, strumming wise you've got this pattern down down up up down up cool so and then you're changing the second chord of every bar off the beat so you're going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Sounds awesome. So you've got D5 to C. So one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Cool. So that's the second half of the intro. Also the verses and the choruses and the sax solo. So it's a lot of the, the song. It's just that bit. Down, down, up. Oh, the bridge section you've got no new chords but you're just playing um, D5 you're just playing all these chords for one bar each so D5 this is the bridge section D5 C F sus 2 G cool so you've got the intro the verse the bridge first chorus second verse Second bridge, um, second chorus, then the sax solo. All those parts I've just given you. Again, what I'll do is I'll um, put the song structure in the description. Um, and I'll put it up now as well, just so you can have a little look. Um, but yes, it'll be in the description, so you get stuck with the uh, the, the structure of the song. That'll be handy. Um, cool. So then you've got the sax solo, and then we're on to the guitar solo. So basically um solo wise springsteen's very pentatonic bass so it's actually the e minor pentatonic it's predominantly in the, the second shape of the e minor pentatonic so uh, again if you're stuck on pentatonic scales head over to js music school go on guitar solos and i've got all that mapped out there so so what you're doing is you're shifting into the um with the tab it actually says 14 and 15 fret because of the capo okay but i'm just gonna say it give you the numbers based on if the capo wasn't there because i'm just it's just used to 
you know, E minor pentatonic, still the same sound whether Capo's on there or not, because it's full fretted notes. Okay, so you've got, again, you've got 16 and 17, or 14 or 15 with the Capo on. So one, two, one, two, one, two. It's a really cool bluesy Chuck Berry style solo. Remember those shift slides as well. Uh, second bar, you're going to go half a bar of that. One, two, three, one, and two, and. And then three, and four, and. So tab-wise, it's 16 and 15, or 14 and 13, because you've got to take an account with the capo. Okay, so those two bars. Okay, so now what we've got, we've got one and two and three and four and. So you stay on those notes. So 16 and 15 uh, for three beats or 14 and 13 with the capo on and then bar the 14th fret or technically it's the 12th fret because of the capo. So one and two and three and four and. Okay, and then it basically kind of goes back and forth between so one and two and three and four and then you go back to that slidey cool little bit again. And then the next bar, you've got one and two and three and four and. So you've got all three shapes there. So, so far, we've actually only got three shapes for this solo. That one, that one, and that one. You yeah, know, for the bulk of the solo. So one and two. This bit here, a bit of a bit more crazy rhythm. So you've got 14 and 15, or uh, 16 and 17, if you're used to counting without the capo. So you've got this. It's quite a cool little rhythm there. One and two. Okay. One and two. So 14, 14, 15, 14, 13. Or 16, 17, uh, 16, uh, what am I about? 16, 17, 16, 15. Okay, and then you've got this. Kind of like some blues curls he's doing here. A triplets as well. So something like that will work. It's quite aggressive sort of playing, so don't be concerned if you want to make it your own. So that bar again. And that will work really well. Okay, so that's that's uh, what we've got. That's an eight bar solo. And then we've got the middle eight section. So here, we've got A minor, then C major, then four bar of each. So A minor, A minor to C, D three times. We've got B flat, it's quite interesting. Technically, it's a C because of the capo. A major for two bars, so I've suggested this strumming pattern. So down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. So that's quite a nice little two bar pattern, so I'll play that strumming pattern again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Cool, and then you've got the third verse, same as all the other verses. Now, the third bridge is an extended bridge, so I'll just go through that. So you've got G5, C major, F sus 2, G. We go back to D5, C, F sus 2, and then a whole bar of A. And then you've got one kind of quaver, stop it dead, and then you've got one, two, three, four, and then final, uh, final chorus. This fades out. Cool. Okay, so I hope that helps. Again, any questions or, or anything, uh, let me know. What I'll do now is I'll quickly go over and do Stevie's part. So you can also play that without a capo. And the idea is in a band situation, you know, you've got the one with the capo on the second fret, and then you've got Stevie's um, in standard tuning without a capo, and they merge together really well. So I'll see you in a, in a sec. Okay.
Okay, so now what we're going to do is go through Stevie's parts. So these are the parts without a capo on. So if you didn't have a capo handy or you wanted to play in a band situation with one person on capo two and then the other person without the capo, it sounds really nice together. So cool. So the chord wise, we've got E minor. It will go over the D5 with the capo. D5. And that will go with the C major and the capo. And then you've got G. It will go over the F sus two on the capo. And you've got an A. It will go over the G with the capo. So you've got this. Intro wise, remember you've got the singles drums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool. So you do that. And then you've got, obviously, when the, the, the rest of the band comes in, you've got the main bulk of the song, which is that cool little down, down, up, up, down, up, between those chords. So E minor, D5, G, A, E minor, D5, G, A. Cool. And then for, for the bridge, um, obviously, you've just got one chord for a bar. So you've got E minor, D5. So that will get you, those parts will get you all the way um, basically to the middle eight section because um, when Bruce is doing his guitar solo, you just want to keep that going. Yeah. Four hours of that, and then your middle eight. So, okay, so instead of uh, playing A minor and C, B flat and A but with the capo on, so what we've got to do is change the chord voicings to match those of the capo. So that's B minor. D. So you do that three times. So one more, uh, one more time. A C major for bar, and then B major. Down, up, down, up, down, up. That cool little string pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Also go through that one more time quickly. Just that middle eight section. So B minor. Cool, so now you're on the verse, and then you've got the bridge uh, section. So remember, this is the extended, the third bridge is the extended bridge. So we'll go through that. So you've got E minor, D5, G major, A major, E minor, D5, G major, and then B. Stop, three, four, and then the final chorus. Cool, so that's pretty much all the parts. Again, this is not set in stone. They do a lot of embellishments, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, live versions, lots of... Uh, Neil might take a solo, Bruce will do a solo. Uh, and obviously, you can kind of add your own style to it as well. Um, but that should be... You know, that, that would do... You know, it would be a really good job to do all this stuff. Um, cool. Okay, so um, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you've uh, liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, any comments or suggestions, uh, please leave them. Any requests, um, please leave them in the comments section. And uh, I'll see you next Friday. Cheers.